Hey there, I'm Joe Weems. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you about NGConf 2023 happening in Salt Lake City, Utah on June 14th and 15th. Head over to ngconf.org to check out the speakers, check out the talks, and to get your ticket before they all sell out. We'll see you there. What's up, NGConf? I'm Jordan Powell from the Cypress team, and I wanted to share a couple exciting things we've been working on here at Cypress. As many of you know, the Angular team announced the deprecation of Protractor in Angular version 16. Once we heard this news, we asked ourselves here at Cypress, what could we do to help Angular users like you migrate to Cypress as painless as possible? In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to migrate from Protractor to Cypress in under five minutes. Let's get started by cloning the Cypress Heroes app from GitHub and opening it up in Visual Studio Code. This repo takes a modern spin on the infamous Tour of Heroes app we've all grown familiar with here in the Angular community. It is an Angular 14 application that uses Nest.js to serve heroes from the backend and uses Protractor for end-to-end -end tests. Let's first run our Protractor test to make sure those pass before we begin our migration using the ngede command. As you can see, our tests are passing and we are ready to begin migrating. To begin our migration, we will use the official Angular schematic and builder from Cypress by typing ngadd at cypress forward slash schematic at latest. We will then be prompted if we want to install the latest version of Cypress schematic in which we will type Y and hit enter. From here, NPM will stall the schematic and prompt us whether we want to change the default ngede command to use Cypress instead. Finally, the schematic will update the package.json and angular.json files and create the following Cypress files. Let's now take a look at the git diff of our angular.json file. We will now see the EDE target has been updated to use the Cypress schematic builder in addition to adding Cypress-run and Cypress-open targets. Now let's launch Cypress and begin converting our tests. Now that we've run the schematic and replaced our EDE target, we can now launch Cypress using ngEDE. This will open Cypress targeting the end-to-end -end testing type and allow you to start testing with the browser of your choice. By default, the schematic generated a starter test called spec.sci.ts. This placeholder spec simply visits the root of our application and runs a check to see if our application contains app is running. In our case, it does not, and therefore the test is failing. Now that we have Cypress fully integrated into our Angular application, let's begin migrating our existing Protractor tests into Cypress. To migrate our tests from Protractor to Cypress, we use a brand new tool we just released here at Cypress called the Cypress Migrator. Here we can copy and paste Protractor code into the migrator and see the equivalent Cypress code. We can see the diff between the two and even get more details from our documentation around each API method that was used. Before we go any further, it is important to note that Protractor and Cypress are fundamentally very different languages and not everything translates one to one. It was built to be an educational resource to help educate your teams make the switch to Cypress as easy and simple as possible. Let's give it a whirl by copying our Protractor test into the migrator to see the equivalent Cypress code. As you can see, the migrator gives us the matching Cypress code that we can then copy and paste into our Cypress test. Let's go ahead and repeat this process for the rest of our test and rerun them in Cypress. As you can see, we now have three passing Cypress tests that are doing the exact same thing our Protractor tests were doing. Pretty cool. Finally, we can remove our Protractor end-to-end -end folder and any dependencies not needed from our application.
Now that our application is fully migrated from Protractor, we wanted to mention one more thing you may be interested in. Two weeks ago, in Cypress version 10.5, we released support for component testing in Angular, a feature many of you have been asking for for a long time. Let's launch Cypress and configure it in our application now by clicking the Choose a Testing Type button and configuring component testing. The Cypress launch wizard will detect Angular in our project as well as confirm all the dependencies needed have already been installed in our application. It will finally provide a summary of all the new files that will be generated. Let's write our first component test and run it now in Cypress. Congratulations, you've successfully migrated your Angular application from using Protractor to Cypress in under five minutes. We can now fully test our application both end-to-end -end, as well as each individual component in isolation directly in the browser using Cypress. I hope any concerns or reservations you have towards migrating to Cypress were addressed and that you are ready to begin testing with Cypress. Finally, I want to invite you to a workshop tomorrow where Cypress teammate Eli Lucas and myself will be doing a deep dive into this topic. Thanks, NGConf, and happy testing.